Hi everyone, welcome to my Zentangle landscape drawing tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create beautiful intricate landscapes using the Zentangle method. This technique is perfect for beginners and in this tutorial I'll guide you through each step offering tips and techniques to enhance your drawing skills as we go along. So grab your pens, relax and let's start this creative journey together. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more artistic tutorials. Let's dive in. Before you start your Zentangle art, make sure that you've got the right art supplies available. I like to make sure I've got a pencil, a ruler and a rubber to get my base drawing done. My first sketch before I start inking it. I like to have some good quality paper here. I've got a nice little sketch pad and a collection of pens. Um, I've got a Sharpie. Black Sharpie is great for big areas. And then I use my Faber-Castell Pit pens, which I absolutely adore, and my Micron pens. The first step in starting your Zentangle landscape is to draw a pencil square or a rectangle. This will obviously be the space in which you will complete your Zentangle art. Once you've done that, you can start blocking out the various areas of the landscape. Here I'm putting in a few rolling hills, a winding road, some more rolling hills in the background. I always like to add a sun to my Zentangle landscapes. And I'm adding a lovely tree. And once you've got a rough idea of your composition in pencil, you can select one of your pens, any pen. In fact, if you've only got one pen that you're working with, that's absolutely fine as well. And you can start outlining your shapes. Here I'm starting with my tree, and then I'll move on to other areas. I try to keep my hand steady, although I have a natural tremor in my hand. And so it can sometimes be a bit difficult, but try and keep your hand steady as you go along. And you're just literally going to be drawing a black outline around all your objects and areas. Grab my free Zentangle landscape drawing bases in the description below if you'd prefer not to draw your own landscape from scratch. Once you've outlined all your shapes, you can then take your rubber and erase all the pencil marks in your composition so that all you have left is a lovely clear black outline. Right, now that you've got your landscape mapped out with a solid black line, you can start stretching your imagination and filling each of the areas with interesting patterns and repeating shapes. I think in this area I'm going to add some floral shapes that are quite interesting. I'm going to outline the basic floral shape and then I'm going to add some solid black areas on the inside and the outside. Mm -hmm. 
When it comes to creating an effective zen tangle, it's important to balance out your white areas and your black areas or your dark areas. It's good to have a range of different tones in your zen tangle artwork. Even though you're working in pen, you can still create different tonal areas using lines that are closer together to create darker tones and lines that are further apart to create lighter tones. It's also good to have areas that are contrasting, so areas that may be completely black or completely white next to areas that are the opposite or are a mid-tone. This helps to create interest in your artwork and actually forces the viewer's eye to move across your composition. Although I don't really want you to spend too much time thinking about the technicalities of your drawing, I rather want you to immerse yourself in the activity and enjoy the process. Zen tangling is meant to be a peaceful, calming activity where you just really get into a state of enjoying drawing repetitive shapes and forms. Throughout my Zen Tangle process, I go back and, and refine areas. I might work over the entire image and then change pens. Here I'm using my Pit Pen Brush Pen, uh, which just gives me a larger nib size to work over and, and fill in black areas. And then I might swap it out again for another pen, but I keep going back and just reworking areas. You can keep doing this over and over again until you feel satisfied with what the final visual effect is.
to create the bold contrasting effect I spoke about earlier I'm going to completely fill in my hills my rolling hills with black ink leaving only a sliver of white on the edge Once you've finished your Zentangle landscape drawing, you can then use a ruler and a pen and just go over the pencil outline on the edge of your rectangle. This just finishes it off and give it, gives it a neat effect. And of course, don't forget to sign your name. I'm just going to use my rubber and clean up my edges a little bit. And then I'm going to show you another trick you can use for Zentangling. A secret but not so secret weapon that you can use for your Zentangle art is a white gel pen like this Jelly Roll pen because it is fabulous for going over areas where you perhaps made mistakes with your black pen or areas that you feel are a bit flat and you want to add a bit of texture to. Uh, having a white gel pen is really a lifesaver and can help you refine and make your artwork look a lot more sophisticated. I'm using my white pen to go over little areas, to clean up shapes, to add white areas within my shapes. Using my white pen I'm going to add a gentle gradient to my rolling hills. I'm going to be using dotting or the stippling technique.
Once again, I'm refining my drawing, going back over areas that need a little bit more black or a little bit more contrast and neatening up edges. Grab my free landscape drawing templates in the description below. And there you have it, your finished Zentangle landscape drawing. Please hit like and subscribe now for more of my creative tutorials. And if you'd like some more tips on how to use Micron pens, check out this next video.